afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm Z69 welcome back to the channel now this video wasn't even planned for today but it is such a fantastic battle I thought I would use it as its own video this is how you play the freaking mouse obviously the mouse is a super heavy tank with uh, an immense armor profile when using it correctly if you don't know how to play the mouse then the armor profile will just not work for you you need to get your angles straight you not only do you need to angle your turret you need to angle your hull as well because there is a lot of weak points in the mouse but as soon as you start angling correctly the armor profile is so good and we're going to watch that right now with q from the chrono clan qq and this is probably the best mouse battle that you're ever ever going to see it is probably the highest damage that you're ever going to see in a mouse as well like i don't think anyone will ever get as much damage as this guy does uh, in this game so uh, stay tuned to the end because this game is exciting so of course it is on rockfield there goes the t54 straight away but he does get a nice side shot into the su and there already goes the death star so just over a minute gone and his team has two tanks down two tanks down within a minute um luckily i mean i was going to say luckily the red teams have split up but so is his team you can see there the sheridan is dead almost there goes the waffle a minute and a half and it's now going to be a three versus seven a three versus seven and only a minute and a half gone that is not good so our guy is going to have to pull his finger out and do something special and he is going to do just that now i'm surprised they don't push towards the right side to be honest because we know that there is quite a few tanks on the uh, this side of the map um but of course he's just going to wait for his opportunity and he gets the shot there onto the leopard bringing him now down to very very low hit points so he's now got 1.9k damage of course he's not done yet he is far from over and when it is a seven versus three the k91 is now almost dead you'd all already think that this is an unwinnable game this is unwinnable surely this can't be a win it's impossible and now it's a two versus seven a two versus seven this just is not looking good for our green team here of course he's going to go and try and push in the standard b there nice little round brings him down to a one shot but he's going to ignore the standard b and he's going to go for the su the su has the dpm uh, so that was actually very very nice focusing and just look at these angles that he's doing and he's even getting bounces from the rear he's ignoring the guys to the from behind and he wanted to clear the waffle but the k91 one does clear the waffle so they've now got it down to a two versus four but here comes the is7 there's also a full hit point is4 somewhere as well and just look at these angles he's trying to angle up to the is7 but he's also trying to angle up to the other tanks as well and that was a nice double tap there into the leopard brings him down uh it's three kills now for the k91 one kill for our guy q here and he's now on 4.6k damage and he's blocked 2.1k damage so he's already blocked a decent amount of damage now when you're angling your hole but not your turret the turret cheeks become very very weak but if you're also angling your turret but not your hole the bottom plate becomes very very weak as well so there now goes the k91 he's got half of his hit points left he's lost half of his hit points and he still has three tanks to go the 50 tp a full hit point is7 and a full hit point is4 so look at these angles that he's going to try and do he's not trying to look at directly of course he's not just going to sit there either he's wiggling he's wiggling his tank he gets the bounce from the 50 tp and now he does take care of him so 5800 damage not quite sure what the is4 is doing the is4 should be coming behind so at least they've isolated him and he does just that but again he looks around and he's angling even the rear of this tank when when you're angling it is actually a very very difficult pen um and you can get the bounces so 3.4k block damage 3.8k block damage and he's now up to 6700 damage absolutely incredible already gets a beautiful shot there and now he's going to try again and angle to the is4 whilst reversing he's always looking where the other tank is at as well where is the is7 if he's coming to the, this side he's going to angle to that side as well so he's always looking at what he can do and where he can angle of course this should not 
He should have been dead a long time ago. He should have been dead a long time ago. One shot now from each of these tanks, it will be game over. So he's just reversing up. He's creating some distance from these guys. And that's really, really, really important because he's going to now get the shot into the IS-7. Unfortunately, misses. But if you pause that, I mean, he's just backing up because if he goes forward where the IS-7 is, then, of course, the IS-4 can come from the right side here or the left side here. And then, he again, he would be isolated. So he's doing the right thing and just backing up, creating some distance, you know, and, and that is absolutely amazing. He's got the rocks to his right if he needs to angle from the rocks. He's got a, a sort of a hill to his left. So him just backing up like this was really, really, really important. Really important. And again, you can see he's trying to angle up. So now he is a one shot. He's got, now got the IS-7 down to a one shot, but he is a one shot. And there is still a lot of hit points left uh, to go. And he really, really needs to angle at both of these tanks now. He gets the bounce, but unfortunately bounces. But again, because... Because of his angles, he's getting bounces everywhere. 5,100 block damage. And now, finally, he is going to take care of the IS-7. The IS-4 is now uh, reloaded. But again, look at his angles. He's trying to angle his turret. He's trying to angle his hull. And he's just trying to make it very difficult for this IS-4. So, 9,000 damage. 9,000 damage with 5,500 block damage it's still going to take another two shots to clear the is4 whereas the is4 is just going to take one shot the is4 is a quick tank he can either just outmaneuver him get around him get to the side of him yes maybe take another shot but he's going to at least take him out and with just 40 seconds left on the clock that was a horrible miss there i can understand why he went for the miss he felt that he had to with the time running out but again he gets another bounce he gets another bounce and now it's a one versus one one both of them are a one shot and there's only 30 seconds left on the clock 6,000 block damage but I feel he's gonna have to have one more block and he does he blocks that final shot 6,400 block damage I mean that's good enough even if you end with a thousand damage but no this guy still ends on 10,105 damage. Of course, he gets the steel wall. He gets a well-deserved Klobunov. Uh, he gets the four kills, the top gun, the high caliber, and he also gets 2,000 base XP. Now, look at that carry. Fair plays to the K91 as well. He done really good. Two versus seven. A two versus seven, and he still manages to pull that off. 10 thousand damage in a mouse on top of that the six thousand blocked damage absolutely incredible and just look at that 14 shots that did not pen 14 shots absolutely crazy and on top of that he took 26 shots and 24 of them pen so he almost made every single shot of his count and that's very important when it comes to damage so well played q thank you for sending me this in uh, i really enjoyed that game and by far the best battle uh, the best mouse battle i have seen ever and i think this will be the highest damage ever ever done in a mouse Thank you for sending me that in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Start learning things because the mouse isn't an easy tank to play. Start Watch this battle. Look at his angles and just learn from that because people need to learn the mouse because people just think it's a heavily armored tank. They could just push forward and bounce everything that comes their way, but it's not like that at all. So watch the, watch the battle. Watch the replay. Learn a few things. Learn how to angle properly and you might just start performing better in the mouse. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm MeeZ69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.